welcome to our fireside chat. Today we're going to talk about change. It's something that happens to all of us and I don't always like it and I'm slow to change because I like things comfortable the way they are, but it's something that we go through and either embrace it and learn from it and grow or we decline. Hope you enjoy being with us today as we enjoy being with you. Well, thanks for being with us also um, from my perspective. Things have changed a lot for us over the last three months during this uh, coronavirus. And uh, things have changed in our country over the last three months, that's for sure. Fern and I have lived long enough that we've seen a lot of changes in our lifetime. Right, Fern? From horse and buggy, <laughs> to cars, from no telephones, to telephones. So, um, as we thought about changes, we wanted to uh, just share with you that change is inevitable, that everybody experiences it. And uh, I've run across some wonderful quotes about change that I wanted to share with you. Uh, one of them is from Socrates, who said, the secret of change is to focus all of your energy, not on fighting the old, but on building the new. Another quote, that I liked was from Albert Einstein, who said, the measure of intelligence is the ability to change. So all of us need to be able to uh, be humble enough and um, wise enough to accept change when it comes our way. We've lived in many different places, uh, Texas, Oklahoma, Alabama, Arkansas, Tennessee, New York. I've loved each place we've ever lived and never wanted to change. But every change has been wonderful and I've experienced some great things through those changes. The right Isaiah said, for the heavens are higher than the earth and so are my thoughts higher than your thoughts and my ways higher than your ways. So one thing that we can know through change is that we can trust in God that his thoughts are so much greater than ours, that whatever is happening in our lives, and we may not understand it and may not like it at the moment, but as we embrace it and learn from it, uh, great blessings can come. In Hebrews, the writer said that, be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have been entertained angels unaware. And so many times people have come to my door that, had difficult problems and I didn't want to handle them and could say, oh no Lord, not this one. I don't, I can't handle this one. And again, he would say, I know my child, you can't, but I can. Let me use you. And then watch the change come about in that person. And at the same time, the blessings that I received from that person that I had no idea, really an angel unaware, blessed my life because of the change that happened. We are here at the Timothy Hill Children's Ranch. This is the hospitality house uh, where we live. And it usually is open to a lot of guests, but for the past three months, the hospitality house has been closed because of the virus. But uh, at the ranch, we work with boys and girls, young people. And one of the... Uh, Wonderful things that we love and enjoy about this work is seeing young people make changes in their lives. Yes. And many of our young people have come from a very broken place and they um, are looking for a better road to go down because some of them have been down to a lot of dead end roads before they got here. They've come many times from broken places, from uh, uh, families that had difficulties and problems and um, many of our young people have come from homes where there was not a father present and sometimes not a mother either. But uh, some of our kids have come from pretty good homes with pretty good parents, but uh, they've made some very bad choices in their life. So uh, accept change, but be willing to be open 
to make uh, new decisions in your life so that uh, you're able to adapt to the changes that are taking place all around you. So many times we think mm -hmm. we're in control of the situation and then a tremendous change comes just like this uh, COVID-19 has changed all of our lives. I dislike wearing this mask. But we do it because of the change that has happened. James, the writer of James said, don't say, I'll do this tomorrow, or I'll do that tomorrow or today, but say, the Lord willing, I will do it. Only God knows what the next moment holds, really. And uh, so many times we think, we're going to do this and we're going to do that, and then when change happens, we're torn apart. It doesn't have to be if we say, the Lord willing, and then really, are open to the Lord's will. When my Titus was young and he wanted to go swimming one day, and he said, let's go. And I said, I can't go today. And he said, okay, tomorrow, okay. And I said, I'm not sure, the Lord willing. He said, no, 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 mama, not the Lord willing, just let's go. <laughs> and I said, if the Lord's not willing, we can't go. He said, okay, the Lord willing. And that's the way it is. It's whatever the Lord wills. And we adjust to it. All right, can I give two or three more sure. changes, uh, quotes here? I went on the internet and found uh, this particular quote. Live as if you were to die tomorrow. Learn as if you were to live forever. And this is a wonderful quote by Mahatma Gandhi. Live as if you were to die tomorrow. Learn as if you were to live forever. This quote is from Leo Leo. Tolstoy, true life is lived when tiny changes occur. True life is lived when tiny changes occur. And John F. Kennedy said this, change is the law of life, and those who look only to the past or present are certain to miss the future. So, because change is inevitable, happens to everybody, uh, what should our attitude be? Be thankful, be grateful for where you are, and look to the future and maybe make some changes in your own life as you begin to plan for the future. Because uh, one of the definitions of insanity is doing the same thing you did last year and expecting different results. If you want better results, then allow yourself to make some changes. Changes in attitude, changes in direction, and that will help you very, very much to have a better future than maybe you've had in the past. Uh, there are some wonderful passages in the Bible that kind of remind us that uh, even though change is all around us, that there is something, someone, who is solid, who never changes. In Matthew 24, 35, Jesus said, Heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will never pass away. And so there is something that is solid. Jesus also talks for her about building your life on a rock so that when the storms of life come, the house would not fall. And he contrasted the foolish man and the wise man. And the foolish man builds his house on the sand. And we've seen houses out here on Long Island sometimes. Washed away. Built on the sand who were washed away. Those houses were washed away when the storm came. But um, Jesus says, build your house on a rock. And that rock is knowing God, listening to God, obeying God, loving God. That's the rock of life that all of us need to be building our houses upon. And God said to Jeremiah, I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope in the future. God has plans for each of our lives. And even Jesus said, go into all the world and teach the gospel to every creature. And he that is he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. 
when Jesus said, go teach, he was talking about change. We change from being angry and wrathful and bitter and hateful and full of all of those things into people who are honest and sincere and loving and kind and patient. And it's a beautiful change. And his plans are so much greater for us than what we plan for ourselves is we can just submit to those plans and change. Fern, I believe that God really wants to change the whole world. Absolutely. And there's some changes that really need to be made in the world, right? And those uh, changes there's begin good and evil all around. Yeah, and those changes begin with me. Yes, they begin with each one of us. So I want to close this, Fern, by just admonishing all of our friends who are watching us today to, uh, to go out there, be the change agent that this world needs. And uh, let's start changing the world one child at a time, one person at a time, and start with us. And let's let's make a, the world a better world as we we change and as God uses us to help others to change. You can change the world. Don't underestimate the power of influence that God gives you. God bless. Have a great day.